Welcome friends, in this tutorial we learn how to run the static analysis and Creo software. Now first of all, first of all we make a parts. Now I have a one machining, machine supporting part, machine element supporting parts. Now you can see the my uh, the machine component is supported at that point. This is the pin joint. Now I analysis this part under the loading condition now 10 mm thickness and now this plate is fixed at bolting with the another wall of the x wall of the machine so now let's check under the under the loading condition now starting from the here the application and now select the simulations now simulations you have many options the structure modes thermal modes model setup regenerate regenerate now here the uh, heat option means thermal options are also available which is the heat fix type temperature convection temperature now this is the messing part messing controls mess analysis is done from the here now here the material are provided so you can assign the material from the from this material libraries now first of all we start the here the model setup now select the model setup now here option the fpm mode advanced fpm mode found a merge condition now select the structure Now select the structure mode. We structure mode. We select this these structures. Now we I have this type of structure. We analysis in this under force or loading conditions. Now first in structure mode select here model setup. Now we I have two options simulate light and FPM modes if you select the fpm modes then simulate light modes is hidden and you can analyze analysis the meshing under the meshing under the mesh surface meshing solid meshing it's now i select the simulate light so mesh mesh mode fpm finite element mesh modes are hidden now select the simulate light now fin okay now here okay now we enter in static condition simulate mode now first of all here you can see you read and you complete the task one by one so first of all we here read the welcome to creamy simulate light now this is our process guys so Welcome to Creo Simulator Light. Now select here next. Now you assign the materials of these parts. Now if you not uh, assign the material previous, then now select this and assign this material from here. Now select from here. now select the already part selected analysis now select here more now fe iron select this steel so we select then fe now double click it so here the material is in model so material is assign now finish ok now fp60 material assign material enter material selector and now ok finish now here you can see the green marks are done so you successfully assign the materials here the symbol are so the material assign symbol will show the material assign now next next task here the constraint 
this part is constrained at some one compared to the other part so first of all we provide the constraint of this part constraint means this part is compared to other part in motion in fix either this part is fixed either in uh, rotating or uh, pin joint either in uh, ball joint so first of all we select the constraint from here select the constraint and now here the different constraint are available you can see the create a displacement constraint here the create a planner constraint now create a pin constraint now this one is the ball constraint your as your as your require uh, as your part application you can select the here select constant from here so now i select the fix this plate is fixed with with the machining wall uh, with the help of nut bolt so i select this displacement constraint fix constraint now select the geometry reference now surface which surface is fixed so now this surface is fixed now select the surface which is a bolting with the machining wall so select this for surface select with control now for surface is selected now here different tran trans translation are available if you are free in x direction then you can select this point but my x y and z all direction are fixed so i select the three point are fixed from here now this is a prescribes the point is moving now now in my application this is a not available so i select the fix in x y z direction now select the individual surface now constraint constraint one now when you finish your constraint area is so bright blue marking now you can see the four surface area are so by the blue markings this area is fixed now here your constant one is added constraint if you change the constraint then add it here and if you delete then select this delete one now my constant is done so i close this task and now your constant is successfully defined so green mark are our green marks available now select the next where the load are applied your component which is subjected some loads pressures in a working condition so you apply the load at that point now my component is subjected load at this pin point so i apply the load at here the different loads are available now this is a creator force or moment loads now this is a pressure loads and this is a gravitational loads now i select this force and now select this area surface area now here i enter the value of the your load now here you can see your coordinate system y direction of course so your load is down acting on downward direction so here I enter the minus 5000 here select the unit kilonewton 
now okay now select load one is apply you can see here the arrow direction downward direction so we can see the our load is in which direction is acting acting in which direction so this is the downward direction now our load is apply successfully now select this gravitational load now same minus 9.81 meter per second square ok now you can see here our gravitational load is apply which is a 9.81 meter per second square at the cg of the part or center of gravity of the part which is in downward direction now close this one now load is assigned select next now run this select the select this run now run the simulate now here the analysis run the complete no any error is generated so close this one and now result select the result now you can see here the stress one minus is theory now different theory are available at here at here the maximum principal stress theory mid principal stress minimum principal stress maximum shear, shear stress now you can measure the stress in xx plane xy plane xz plane yy plane in different plane you can measure the stress now if you can select the year from displacement now displacement also option are also available now here the different colors are available you can see here the color change now in this region the value of displacement is according to these colors now value in kilopascals so this all value in kilopascals magnitude frame deform now displacement deform now deformment deformation under the load is this one now this is the maximum deformation at the end of which is a 2248.30 mm which is the maximum so my part is failure under condition under condition so change the part thickness or minimize the load load at the this pin joint now view medium select the continuous color you can see here the maximum load is at the end of that pin joint now different maximum now select the stress which is a negative according to the one mysis theory the stress is in kilopascal the stress which is maximum at this point which is a 3.10 e raised to plus 0 8 you can see the red color is here which is a maximum and now blue color is the safest point now you see, can see here 
these bolting region are also the green and pink so this is a also stress region mm. now here also the red color is generated so this is a dangerous re region at which the maximum stress is generated now select from here the strain maximum strain is also here which is a maximum principle theory which is a 3.02 now you can see the different graph here p level now strain energy per unit volume this part maximum stress is maximum strain energy is at your corner now in this maximum principal stress theory the red arrow are so here and now this is a blue region blue arrows so maximum stress is generated at this point now select here level stress maximum shear stress continue now our bolt maximum stress in this direction only this direction face is yellow and green so this direction of bolt for hole is maximum stress in generator displacement magnitude now you can measure the magnitude in x y and z directions now Y Z direction is maximum maximum stress in the plate. Select the stress. Now this is a analysis from this now you can change the material thickness or length of the component according to this analysis mm. now we can see the mass analysis videos in next videos Thank you for watching these videos.